Hello. So, you have a laptop or a home computer that has plenty of RAM, a large hard drive, and a really good processor. And you want to get into making YouTube videos. Now, there's a lot of camera options available. Obviously, most computer systems come with a uh, camera. Uh, you're subject to whatever it is because it's usually built in. Which, for YouTube videos, the quality is not that great. Uh, there are other options such as cell phones. They have built-in cameras. And then there's, you know, your, your iPads or your Android tablets. They have their uh, built-in cameras also. But again, you are limited as to what you can do. Uh, you can upload and download directly from them, usually if you have a Wi-Fi connection. But it's kind of a hassle, especially when you want to get into doing a, some custom editing for your videos that you want to put up. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to run through the uh, rig that I'm currently using. And it actually works out pretty good. You can get it for less than 500 bucks, And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go through the prices and keep in mind prices will vary. But uh, everything that I've got, I got for under 500 And it's a pretty good setup. So uh, I'll go through that with you and... Uh, who knows? You may decide you want to go the same route. Uh, okay, let's get right to it. Uh, the first item that I purchased was the Zoom Q8 uh, video recorder. Uh, currently, it's going for $299. And with that, you will need an SD card, which... I'm popping some pictures up here so you can see what they look like if you do an online search. Um, so the uh, SD card that I got, which is pictured, uh, that was about $45. And you might find it cheaper elsewhere. Uh, another item that I picked up was the Zoom MA2 adapter handle. Now, this handle is not listed for use with the Q8 video recorder. However, it is a Zoom product, and it is listed for use on other Zoom recorders, uh, audible recorders. But it screws right into the bottom of the uh, Q8, and it's a great handle, especially, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, hold your camera uh, semi-stable. It's a, it's a good way to do it. So that picture's up there, too. All right, uh, the next one. I got a mic stand. And, again, the picture. Uh, was $12.99 on uh, Amazon. And with this mic stand, it bolts on, you know, this clamps onto a table. Uh, you tighten it down to whatever position you want it in. It's spring-loaded arms, so you can move it wherever you want. And it uh, actually works out pretty good. And uh, that's one thing that, obviously, without the uh, Zoom MA2 adapter handle, you can't use that particular stand. But on the lighter side, when you want to pick the camera up, you just pop it right out of the mic uh, holder and just carry it wherever you want to carry it. Go record whatever you want. So that comes in kind of handy. Uh, the next one. I purchased an XLR Y cable. Uh, and there was a reason for that. I discovered that the Audible, it has a built-in mic on the, the Q8, but the Audible, if you have only one input and you plug, like, say, the left or the right in, there currently is no setting 
to automatically say, okay, use the left input channel as the right input channel also. So I had to get this Y cable to plug into the left and right and then plug in a microphone to that. And I can adjust the levels on the left and right channels for my input. Uh, I ended up getting a five pack because of the amount of movement that, uh, you know, we could do with the camera. And I'll give you a quick example here. Go up, down, left, right, you know, all that stuff. Uh, but because of the movement, um, I decided, okay, well, I'll get the five pack. Plus I had checked around on actual websites dealing with musical equipment. I don't want to mention their names. I picked up five of these cables for the price that they were charging for one. So needless to say, having a couple extra is always a good thing. You never know when one's going to wear out and you need a quick replacement. At least you got it. So that was something else that I uh, picked up. Uh, the next item was a 10-foot uh, uh, mic cable. Now, what this does, obviously, I plug that into the Y cable, and it gives me 10 feet to be able to plug my mic into. I can walk around, have somebody else hold the camera, uh, you know, I'd be doing an interview if I want to do that. Uh, and it works out pretty good. So I got a 10-foot cable. They run about $14 each. So, you know, that's not that big of a deal. And I think I forgot to tell you that the five-pack of the uh, Y cables actually ran uh, $24.99. So keep that in mind. Uh, the uh, last item I picked up was a sheer... WH20XLR, uh, yeah, it's a microphone. You know, you just strap it on. It actually slides on, and uh, you can adjust the arm anywhere you want. Works out pretty good. These uh, head units, uh, they range in price. I've seen some all the way up to like $350, $400. Uh, this one, because of the brand name, it's a Shear, or excuse me, Shear, S-H-U-R-E. Um, it, it's moderately priced. It's not super expensive, but it's not the cheapest on the market either. But this one ran me about $80. Uh, and obviously there's a picture up there. Now, with that all put together... And here's a picture of what it looks like all put together. Uh, you'll see, you know, it works out pretty good. So that rig with cables and the SD card and all that, um, it ended up running approximately $484. Now, some of the items, like the cables, you can go with a different brand. You might find them a couple dollars cheaper. That's always a possibility. Uh, the headset mic, you may find that uh, you can pick that up somewhere cheaper also. Uh, or go with a different brand that's cheaper. It's really up to you. But bottom line, the purpose of this video was just to say, hey, I can get a decent quality video rig to be able to do uh, YouTube videos. And it's not going to break the bank. Um, now, there are some websites you can go to and actually get most of this on payments. Uh, such as uh, one of them is uh, American Musical Supply. Uh, they have most of these items. Uh, some stuff I had to actually go through, uh, you know, Amazon. But, uh, you know, shop around. Uh, but, you know, bottom line. Uh, you can get it for less than 500 bucks, And if you can get it on payments, that's even better. But, uh, so, that that's basically the information I wanted to share with you. Just so that way you can see, yes, I've got options. I don't have to go with the GoPro 
or that other one that's out there, uh, there's actually more options for me. All right. So, uh, hey, I hope this video helps. And, uh, you know, well, shook the camera good on that one, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm going to get off here and let you get about your business. Okay. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.